Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Civilization V Brave New World as Austria. So at the end of the last episode, I had a big dilemma, which honestly I don't know why it ended up being a big dilemma, but we ended up getting writing for free from a from an ancient rune. And that pretty much like confused me as to, you know, do I change my game plan because we have a very good chance of getting the great library now, which this is how you get the great library on the higher difficulties. You have to rely on luck, pretty much, to uh, get writing for free, which we did on turn 16 as well. So, after further analysis, if you will, I've decided that it would be really stupid of me not to go for it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the great library. I, I thought about it a bit. It really doesn't change my game plan all that much. I mean, we're, gonna, we're working on animal husbandry after mining, which is great. We're going to do archery next because we're going to need at least one archer because I'm pretty sure we're going to get invaded by barbarians eventually or sooner rather than later. And uh, I mean, we could still pull off the Terracotta army. The only problem I have is that I can't, you know, start building units as I'm doing the Great Library. Plus, once the Great Library is done, I'm going to have to quickly start doing the Shrine, and then I'm going to want to settle. So, we're going to have to rely on money pretty much to buy as many units as possible, to have as many unique units as possible before we get the Terracotta Army out. Plus, we and we have to get, in my opinion, the Terracotta Army has to be built by turn 70. Preferably before that would be great. Because uh, once you hit the turn 70, it's just a matter of uh, turns before uh, an AI gets it. Plus, I just realized we just got our free social policy, and we're going to go ahead and do aristocracy, because we get 15% uh, production towards building wonders, and which that's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, that makes perfect sense. So, la di da on that one. How do you like them apples? So let's continue on. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to start the Great Library till the worker's out, because the worker, obviously, improving our tiles is going to help us build it much quicker than if I switch now and not get a worker out. So, I mean, in theory, we do have a worker, but he's still very far away. Plus, I'm not sure we actually will survive the, the, the journey back home, to be quite honest, but we'll see what happens. I mean, if we lose, we lose. It's not the end of the world. You know, there's worse things in life than losing warriors and scouts and whatnots and uh, workers. So we've met another city-state. That's nice. Actually, what are you? You are cultured, friendly, silver. Okay, well, silver's not too bad. We probably will want to uh, do the diplomatic marriage at some point with this uh, city-state. I mean, I, I plan on doing that with as many city-states as possible, provided we have the happiness, and leave them puppeted so that it doesn't screw us towards, uh, you know, our social policies and all that, so... There you have it. That's the game plan, but I think I I had already mentioned that in the uh, first episode. That that's that's how I was going to play the, the whole diplomatic marriage thing. Like, example, this city-state here, I'm not going to diplomatic marriage because we get porcelain, which I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get if I uh, actually take control of the city. And as well, they are mercantile, so we get even more happiness from having the city-state stay a city-state. So, And I noticed that this one here as well... Vilnius, Vilnius, uh, same thing, mercantile, and we get jewelry, which we wouldn't otherwise get if we uh, diplomatic marriage to this place, so there you have it, those are pretty much going to be our two city-states that we will keep as city-states, everything else I think will be fair game, provided, I mean, if we find more city-states that are mercantile, I'll try to grab them as well, but uh, anyways, one thing at a time here, I'm getting a little bit, you know, ahead of myself right now, so we got mining, that's great, <laughs> Now, I'm a little bit worried about the Pantheon, because I'm not going to be doing the Shrine. Like, right now, I am going straight to Great Library. I mean, we want to get it, we have to start doing it now. Now, we got our worker out, good, we're going to start connecting the salt, which is definitely going to help us a lot. And, uh, right, so once this is done, I'm going to build the Shrine only after this is done. So we're only going to... I mean, in theory, I guess if we ever get enough money, we could technically just rush build a Shrine. But a Shrine is much more expensive than an Archer. Like, yeah, it's 50 gold more than an archer. Where's the archer? Oh, we don't have archer. archer archers are 200 and... No, they're 200 gold. Archers are 200 gold, so... It doesn't make sense to rush build the shrine. Because it's too expensive, plus we have to save our money to buy, you know, catapults. Or one catapult. I mean, really, the goal is I want to buy one catapult for sure. Like, th that's a no-brainer. We have to have at least one catapult before we get the Terracone army so that we can get a second one for free. And... I mean, same goes for probably, you know, we're going to want a regular archer and a composite archer, 
We're gonna want, well, we already have the warrior, provided he survives. If he dies, I mean, I'm not gonna bother building another one. I would like to get a spearman out, too, so we could get another copy of that when we, once we get the terracotta army. And then after that, maybe even a horse archer. Um, I don't think I can actually pull off, I did the math in my head, and I, I can't pull off horseback riding and get everything else done the way I want it. So we won't be able to get, like, a horse and then a free horse after that. That would be so awesome strong, but uh, it doesn't matter. Once we've gotten the terracotta army, and we get duplicates of everything we have, and, it, you know, I stabilize my economy, I will start pumping out as many horses as possible, because I'm pretty sure we're biased horse, since we, our unique unit is a horse. It's a cavalry unit, actually, so... Pretty sure that's how that works. So let's keep walking here. So we found... Byblos. And, uh... Byblos or Byblos? I don't know. Anyway, so we found we got 30 gold out of that. I mean, we want to find as many city-states as possible, too, right now, just to keep building our funds. And uh, hopefully this works out. I mean, in my head, this plan is beautiful. I mean, I, I, I'm not really good at explaining things. <laughs> so you're just going to have to trust me that hopefully, I mean, hopefully the plan works out. And if it does, trust me that it's a very cool plan. And um, should be really interesting. I mean, the plan stops at Terraco at the Terracotta Army. After that, I really don't have a game plan. <laughs> it's pretty much just, you know, get the Terracotta Army, have as many uni units as possible to build, you know, to have a duplicate army, basically, and pretty much attack Beijing. Um, not only because it's the closest city, but because it's China. And as soon as China get their uh, crossbows, uh, crossbow units out, forget about it. We're, we, we, we will have a hell of a time trying to get through them. So, there we go. Next turn, I'm talking a lot. I'd like to speed things up here. I'd like to uh, get to the point where we actually get the Terracotta Army built. This sucks. Actually, this guy can't kill us, though, because we will be on a hill. Well, it's too late now because I moved. I actually didn't want to do that. I was still thinking, but no, I don't think this guy can actually kill us. And this guy can't This guy can't hit us because he has to hit jungle, so he stopped there. So we're only going to get hit by this guy, and I'm pretty sure we don't die. I mean, if we do, we do. Whatever. Uh, 30 gold here, nice. Let's keep advancing. We've met a city-state, right? Uh, except that missy, so now you just got writing, so we have an advantage over this guy now, nice. Actually, Sweden's prone to uh, declare friendship, and I'm gonna accept, because I might want to actually sell luxury resources for a, you know, flat amount of money instead of money per turn, just to, to speed things up to build our funds. So that's something I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out on. So you're popped up here. You know what? We'll lock you here because we're definitely going to improve this uh, ASAP. Now, I'm not focusing on hammers more than food right now because I still want to grow. And we're 21 turns away, which really sucks right now. But that's that's most likely going to change, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, we didn't die. I came freaking close, though. I'm actually going to instate... Well, not instate. We'll grab some heal here. This guy actually came out, so we would die if we stayed there, but we will not. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure barbarians would actually suicide kill themselves. I guess he might. I've actually, not, I don't know that. I don't know if um, barbarians are prone to. Uh, actually, they can't heal themselves, so they probably do act as suicide bombs if they have the chance. Oh, we found uh, the the Mayans. Right? Yes, of course. Um, I guess I could accept embassy now. I'll wait. I'll wait one turn. Actually, now nah, I'll wait one turn. I don't want them to... I, I keep forgetting if they're aggressive or not. I mean, they get a pretty good early unit, I think. Early game unique unit. So we're not going to actually tell them where we are right now. We'll keep that a little bit of a secret for a little while longer here. Uh, let's move here. There we go. Right. So he did suicide bomb himself. Ha. Ha ha. And he died. But we survived, which is awesome. So now we're going to have two workers work in this city. So that's freaking sweet early on like that. We're still generating a decent amount of money for this stage of the game. So that's all good. <clears throat> and we're going to get Animal Husbandry the next turn. That's nice. Actually, you can move here. Perfect. So, I mean, my theory is that there's probably, you know, in, near us some barbarians that have spawned by now. I would think by turn 24, I'm pretty sure. So we're definitely going to want the archer out as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, you might as well move here, why not? Next turn. So we got the salt connected, nice, so that's, oh, that's, wow, that really helped us, actually. Uh, peace treaty has ended, yeah, that's right, we had declared war on China to steal the worker early on. 
Right, we're going to move down there, that's fine. Okay, good, so obviously we're going to do archery next. And we're going to do the wheel. Because I'm going to want to build a water mill, actually before we start the terracotta army. I mean, I mean, before I record it, I, I did the math in my head and it should work out pretty well time-wise. Like, the timing should be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And obviously we're going to go straight to construction. And once we get the terracotta army... I mean, once we start working on that, I mean, once we've gotten construction, I will figure out what I want to do. I mean, I have an idea in my head, but I, I'll, I'll wait till that time comes before I, uh, I indulge a little bit more as to what my idea is. So you're going to go here, actually, and start working on those things. You're done, so you can come here. We're, we've actually grown, right, we've grown. So just this extra hammer really sliced the, uh, the production down like crazy. So we're actually right now on pace for turn 40, which... I mean that's pretty good. I mean I've seen I mean I, I I've seen the AI get it by turn 35, but I think that AI in that particular game and this was on Emperor difficulty by the way um, pr had probably gotten writing for free from an ancient rune really early on because they do start on Emperor I think is when the AI starts um, with three texts or something like that and they do start with pottery so it is possible for them to get writing for free. Like, pretty much with the first ancient rune they find, provided it gives a free text, so... That's probably what had to happen, but yeah, normally it's like turn 40, you want to have it done by turn 40, or else, odds are you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be getting it. Uh, yeah, start working on this. You, you might as well start healing, and once you're healed, we're gonna start, uh, scouting for... Some, uh, whatchamacallits that are probably here. You can keep moving. Public Declaration of China on who? Almighty. I, I call that city-state Almighty. It's actually Almaty or something. <laughs> Almaty. I call you Almighty because they are mi militaristic. So it's just fitting to call them Almighty. But uh, actually, are they good? I haven't actually. I didn't take a quick look at you guys. You guys give ivory. That's interesting. I don't care for militaristic. So I really don't care about keeping you as a uh, city-state. So actually, puppeting you. But diplomatic marriage makes sense. You are pretty close to us, relatively speaking. Actually, speaking of, I should start planning on s knowing where I want to settle my second city. This is a pretty good spot there. Get some, get some salt. There are some desert tiles. Now, I don't plan on doing the Petra because it's, you know, doing the Great Library and doing the uh, Terracotta Army. Odds are, you know, forget the Petra. But, uh... Actually, this spot here, too, is actually probably stronger because there's two salts, there's some wheat. Actually, if we settle right here on this hill, we are rivered, mountain, salt, this, we get some bananas we wanted to, we can get these horses, and we can get spices. Not that it matters because, obviously, we want to get Beijing, we'll be getting spices and silver. But, uh, you know, another copy of spices to sell would be good. Actually, you know what, this spot, I'm sold, this is where I'm going next. This will be the uh, second second city. That's too good of a spot to uh, neglect it. Oh, look at that. Another city-state. 15 gold. Yes, sir. Let's carry on. Let's go on this mountain. All right, another city-state. Man, we're just we're just booming with city-states right now. Actually, what's our money at? 271. That's beautiful. We're getting archery in two turns. Now, this guy's healed here. That's good. Oh, and a barbarian just popped. I just saw his face. Oh, natural wonder. Nice. Still two natural wonders to find. That's the other good thing about playing on a, on a Pangea is that you can find those natural wonders early on. Which is usually when they're more the, the most useful because of the extra little bits of happiness they give you for just finding them. Usually you need the happiness early on and not later on. So Another good thing about the Pangea. Uh, right, next turn. So we'll actually start attacking this guy. I hope he, they engage and don't actually chase our uh, workers because that would suck. You want to accept an embassy? I guess I don't mind. You know where I am, and I know where you are, so who cares? Doesn't really matter. Uh, right, you did engage us. That's good, and I will continue engaging you here, actually. One turn, we will get archery. There's another city state. 30 gold. Cool, so nobody had found these guys yet. That's nice. Why is this all uncovered? Oh, right, this is where we came from with the uh, when we stole the worker. Right, 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 right. Okay, next turn. I think I'm coming down with a cold right now. It's really annoying. 
Really, really annoying. Alright, let's just uh, beeline straight. Damn freaking axemen's here. Really annoying. Uh, do I attack? Actually, we can get the archer out now. So let's purchase the archer for 200 gold. That, that's a no-brainer. Because, I mean, this guy came from somewhere and it's probably here because I, I'm pretty sure I saw him go up this way. So he's probably down here somewhere. It's probably a quest for this guy. In fact, pledge to protect this guy. I'm pretty sure I forgot to do this guy as well. I don't care about the other city-states right now, but these guys um, I'd like to pledge to protect just to get the uh, resting point at 5. Now, do I attack this guy? Do I heal? Actually, let's take a swing. Whatever. It's the worst that can happen. Actually, I don't want to lose him, though. Uh, right, you want to give salt? No, we're not going to trade with you, actually. There's no point. Okay, so he, you moved here. This archer is going to come here. You've actually leveled up. We're going to do rough terrain. I don't want to attack you, actually. Let's do a heal now. You've actually built this. Great. Go on the horses. You, the sheep here. We can't connect the uh, incense yet, but I don't really care. We, we're pretty good on happiness right now. So we got another uh, thing here. We're going to go with the uh, legalism, legalism, or whatever the hell it's called. The legal law. All right, you just get the hell out of here. Cool. Ancient rune. Nice. That's actually only our third one. <laughs> and we got... What was it? Culture from the first one? Writing from the second one. I mean, that's pretty. That's a pretty sweet start for the ancient runes. I wonder what we're going to get in this one. Um, let's make it three for three. That'd be freaking sweet. Uh, what am I doing here? It feels like I'm screwing up something here. No, I think everything's okay. Let's go next turn. Is there something I'm forgetting to do? Right, so we're working on the wheel right now. We're seven turns away from the uh, Great Library. Puts us at turn 39 right now. Accept embassy and stuff. Whatever, I'll do the embassy, not the salt, though. That's right, that's what I forgot to do. I gotta trade this. But people don't have that much money this stage. I, maybe waiting one turn won't be that bad. Let's actually start over. Do you have anything here to trade? Three gold per turn? That's no good. I don't want to trade with you. You only have four gold per turn. What do you have there, Pakal? Seven gold per turn. That's funny. You were offering five two seconds ago, and you didn't have anything else. Anyways, seven. That's exactly the amount I want, so that's actually super perfect. So there we go. Our first copy sold, or rather, our second copy. Do I get this first or get the city-state first? Hmm, let's get this first. <laughs> Are you serious? That is freaking... That's just... Wow. I don't think I've ever had such a great start in a game. I mean, I've had good starts. But this is like, this is borderline epic start right now. So we got a free pop. Actually, we're going to lock one guy here. And the other guy here, I don't care about this. We're not going to bother here. So there we go. We're going to lock that. So we're five turns away now. That's just crazy. I can't believe that. That is freaking amazing. You go ahead and connect this. And uh, you're still healing. We'll do next turn. That's amazing. I can't believe it. So we got culture, we got writing, and we got uh, a free pop. That's just freaking bloody amazing. So there is the Barbarian here. It's probably a quest with you, Genoa. Yeah, kill Barbarian. So cool, we'll do that. We'll give some. In we'll get some influence here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep moving there. Ah, oh, Denmark. Harold, you were in my last game, actually, and you had a really bad game, so we'll see what kind of game you have this time around. I'm not going to actually tell you where I am right now, though. There's no point. Uh, right, let's, well, we might as well start engaging these guys. You can keep healing. So there we go. Good start. Amazing start. Our score, we're still last in score. That's going to change, man. That's going to change. Don't worry about it. We're going to be, we're going to be kicking ass score-wise before you know it. There we go. We found his second city. He can move here and take some shots. And we'll actually bring this warrior to help. I'd like to kill them off before they spawn something else, actually, now that I think of it. Take a shot. What's the citizens have become uneasy? All right, there's a lot of barbarians things. We'll we'll try to take care of them eventually. I mean, it's a good way to gain influence early on because it doesn't cost any money. Uh, actually, I was thinking about it. With Austria, we're definitely not going to want to neglect the great merchant. Uh, they're going to help us a lot in acquiring city states. So that's actually something I'm going to have to prioritize. So actually the uh, market is definitely something I'm not uh, going to neglect. Like s some of my games I, I tend to neglect 
uh, the market, even though the market's actually really strong to get as soon as possible. There's another city-state here. That's 15 gold, which is nothing to uh, write home about. But, uh, yeah, 178. Oh, we got the archer right, but we still need a composite bowman. Um, composite bowman, a catapult, and... Uh, pikeman or spearman, whatever it's called there, the first one. Great library, nice. So we get a free tech. Um, free tech-wise, I mean, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother thinking too deeply about it. I mean, that, fine, I could get mathematics or something like that, which would help us. But nah, it's always wise to go with the most expensive available tech, even if it's not something we're aiming for. I mean, we will need it anyways to get to uh, theology and eventually education. So we might as well go for it because that'll save us some time, you know, down the road when we get to that point. So I'm still going to I'm going to go ahead and grab drama. I mean, really if we were doing like a culture victory right now, I probably start building on the uh, Parthenon, which is not a great great wonder, but you get a free um you get a free art, great work of art or artifact slot 1. And contains right contains a pre-built great work of art in there already. So you get culture like immediately, or not culture but tourism, and then you also get plus four culture. So it's it's not a bad. I mean, you're going if you're going for the tourism victory, this is not a bad one to get. And the AI loves this one. So usually the AI loves wonders that are extremely strong. So this would probably be one of them, because I know that in my games the AI always goes for that for that. But uh, yeah, if you get the if you're going culture victory and you're able to pull off the great library. You might as well start start working on the, the Parthenon as soon as possible. But we won't be the one that this game. We're going to stick to our plan. So that's our free what tech. We are in Classical Era, which, honestly, I've played this game so much, I forget what changes when we when we change eras in this game. I don't think there's much that changes, but anyways. Uh, so Great Library is done. Right, so we're going to do the Shrine. We don't have a choice. Got to do that before we do the Settler, because we, we want a chance at a religion. So... Right now, it's still, you know, 20 faith required for the uh, the panthe Pantheon, but, um, yeah, we don't want to, I mean, great library, I had no choice, there's no way I was doing the shrine before, I mean, I guess I could have, and still pull off the great library, that could have worked, I'd rather not take a chance though, seriously, I think we did this properly, so you're going to go for the great library, you might as well make sure you get it. Because if you miss out on it, you've screwed your beginning. Like, forget about it. You might as well just restart. Yeah, you're, you're screwed. Um, right, so we're not allied yet, but we are friends. And we won't be able to give you money anytime soon, so... That'll probably end up going all the way back to zero at some point. But uh, anyways, whatever. Uh, cool, so we got another wonder. We only have one more to find. Nice. Well, that is cool. So we're working on the shrine. I can't believe we got that free pop. We found Isabella. Really? Okay. Whoa, what's going on? Alright, your turn. Uh, move here, I guess. There's another city-state there. We're going to want to go engage that. Computer seems like it's lagging right now. Uh, right, you might as well come here, start doing a farm. We'll improve this as best we can. We're locked you here. Good, 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 good. That's perfect. In fact, we might as well... I'm going to want you here, because that's going to be two and two. Am I going to remember that? I tend to forget these things. How much time left? One through you're done next next turn. I doubt I'm going to forget that. So, Actually, I'm going to bring this archer back here and park him here until we get our settler out, and then uh, we're going to move up here. Now, I hope China doesn't settle here. That would really piss me off. But we have a pretty decent spot here, worse comes to worse. And we'll have no choice but to destroy their second city. And get there. Actually, it's going to be annoying if they settle here. I really hope they don't. So uh, yeah, let's get let's get cracking on that. Uh, on that what you call it? All right, done, done, done. Unit needs orders. I guess I should heal you now, but I'd rather come up here first. Archer can come here. You're done. That perfect. Come here and build a farm. Let's not forget to unlock. There we go. The game actually knew to unlock that one. So there we go. These are pretty good tiles we're working right now. You can't get a better start than that, really, for a city, so... That is uh, good. Well, we're being attacked here, so we might as well start retreating slightly towards the south. Let's go ahead and do next turn. We're going to get the shrine, finally. We're going to start working on the settler now. Feels like I'm repeating myself a lot, actually. <laughs> we're going to be doing the settler. I must have said that like 20 times by now. Alright, move here. 
you can move here. Right, well, you know what? You might as well park here, so do ahead and alert. Actually, once he's done this thing, might as well start walking him up, walk him up, uh, uh, walk him up here. I'm having a hard time talking lately. I'm really, uh, I think I'm losing it, man. I'm losing my mind. Florence longs for culture. Well, isn't that just lovely? Move here, cool, nothing there. There's some cattle here. Is that in our range? No, that's too far. That would that would have been cool. That would have been nice. We get horses there. I don't know if I had mentioned that. So this actually is a really awesome spot. Mostly because we get the mountain, we're still rivered. We start on a hill, which actually is not actually good for our race because we get the uh, the windmill, the the better wind windmills, and you can't build a windmill on a uh, on a hill. So, but uh, still a very sweet spot though. Very very sweet. Actually, that's right. Bananas on the jungle tile, so we're gonna have at least one jungle tile to work with. I noticed there's a lot of jungle here. It might actually be worth settling a scientific city, if you will, in here. Actually, where the spices are on the bananas, maybe on the hill. Actually, maybe you're surrounded by by stuff. We're actually, now that I think, we're gonna need a lot of workers in this game. I just realized that. What? We're being followed. Get the get the hell away from me, please. Actually, you know what, uh, Uncle Ben's. I don't know why I call him un Uncle Ben's. Uh, Harold. Bluetooth. I call him Uncle Ben's. I don't know why. He reminds me of Uncle Ben's. <laughs> uh, we're going to uh, accept embassies, actually. I want to know where you are in this game right now. Okay, so you're up here. And you settle down there, so that's normal. Um, Stockholm's here. The Mayans are here. China hasn't settled yet, which is very strange. Actually, they're probably... No, well, we got the Great Library. Actually, they were probably going for the Great Library, and we fucked them over, which is awesome. That's probably what happened. Let's go ahead and do next turn. Again, I'm babbling too much. This episode is coming to an end. I might actually drag it out just a bit, because I'd like to get to the point where we start... You know, where we queue up the Terracotta army. Uh, wonder? Yes, let's work together. Absolutely, bro. Let's do that. We shall work together. Masonry, nice. Not that we need it. Well, actually, technically, we do need the tech to be able to start working on the Terracotta Army, which is nine turns away for construction. That's not too bad. Uh, right. This is really annoying that these guys are following us here. Let's move back. I'd like to keep heading, you know, to keep heading this way. Where is Isabella? We found Isabella. You know what, Isabella? I am curious as to where you are. So let's do accept embassies. All the way coastal, actually. You're coastal, too. Interesting. And two spots. Actually, three with the battleships. I could park them here and we could rape Madrid. So I might do you second last. Or maybe last, actually. How many... S we need to find two more... Two more sieves. Now, I'm pretty sure there's one here. There's probably some guy in there. Maybe two guys in there, actually. I mean, anyways, Isabella's coastal, so that's good. We might do you last or second last, because you are pretty far away. So, actually, last. I don't know why I would do, do you second last. Anyways, again, thinking way too far here. <laughs> this is like 20 episodes away from now, so, yeah, no. Let's not even bother thinking of that. Let's go ahead and do next turn. Right, Vienna demands Wales. That might happen at some point in the future, maybe. There we go. I'll, I'll heal up here. This is a pretty good spot. I got. I have a nice bird's eye view of what's going on. This barbarian encampment is. Uh, I don't know. They can't. They can't actually reach us and kill us. So we're fine. Um, right. This guy just keeps following. This is stupid. Now, fine. I'll turn around. I don't give a shit. I've noticed barbarians tend to focus more on the human player versus the AIs, which I find is lame. It should not be biased that way. There we go. Holy shitballs, that's a lot of uh, warriors there, Isabella. Where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? Two turns away from the whatchamacallit. I guess I might as well do the other farm now. You can park here. Alerts. Um, actually, and this guy can finish it off after. Uh, that works out. 
Wait, I'm doing the settler, right? Yes, yeah, settler. Okay. And after the settler, we're gonna do the um, the water mill, and that should be timed perfectly so that once we get the terracotta army, the water mill will have finished construction, and that's good. No, keep healing. What am I doing? Right, there's a lot of action going on here. Actually, what are you doing all the way up there with your warriors when you're all the way over here? Where are you going? Are you at war with someone already? That's freaking out. Did I miss something, actually? Is Isabella aggressive? I don't usually get her that often in my game, so I'm not sure if she's aggressive or maybe passive-aggressive or friendly. I, I have no idea. Uh, right, you're done, so go there. That's that's fine with me. Do one more turn here. We'll do next turn. We're going to get our settler out, which is beautiful. Right, so actually you can stop now. Move here. Move here. Worker can come here. Settler can come here. Isn't this just beautiful? Everything's just falling into place so early on. Uh, water mill. Yes, six turns. Five turns away from uh, being able to do the Terracotta Army. So that is freaking sweet. It's actually better than what I predicted. But then again, we got a free pop, which probably helped us greatly to achieve the perfect timing. We're almost perfect timing. But uh, pretty damn close to perfect timing. So actually, this episode's actually nearing its end. So what I'm going to do is actually just settle to where I want to settle. And uh, call it quits in this episode. And uh, yeah, so do the whole Terracord army the next turn. Now this is an interesting... I am always at a loss as to which one to go for first. Do I go Landed Elite? Or monarchy. Now we do need a lot of money right now. We have to maximize the amount of money so that we have enough money to purchase the required units before we have the Terracotta Army uh, Wonder built. So I'm probably gonna go monarchy. We don't need the happiness, but uh, I mean extra growth right now would awesome. You know, could be awesome. But 10 percent's not that much. But the, actually, the, the the plus two food right off the bat is though. But I think I'm gonna go monarchy. I think. Uh, because I, I want to make sure we maximize the amount of money we get. Monarchy makes a lot of sense. Uh, right, you guys. Uh, well, I'm going to settle here. That's like this. So this will be the first workable salt pile. So we might as well go there. Let's go here, hit this uh, piece of land there. So you're going to continue working on that farm. We do have fish, eh? Which is interesting. So we're going to have some pretty good tiles to work and some not-so-good ones. But uh, with the lighthouse, though, we should be okay. Um, right, let's keep moving. I'm going to try to speed things up here. I don't want this episode to drag on too much. doesn't seem like I did much. Actually, we've explored a lot. We found a lot of the city-states, a lot of the other players. We're missing two other players right now to find. You can move here. Oh, find another barbarian. Let's go next turn. Shkadabush. Let's go up here. Actually, this... Okay, so there's probably someone up here. There's probably someone down here. That's how I see it now. So we'll end up finding them pretty soon. Uh, you go ahead and just wait one turn. You go ahead and alert. You park your ass on the hill. Next turn we'll settle our city. Now, I'm probably going to queue up a unit, is what I'm going to do. Normally, I would queue up a shrine right off the bat. But, um, honestly, uh, I actually, we've we've tech now. Right, so we got construction, so we're going to be able to start working on the Terracotta Army. Everything's awesome. It also gives plus one culture, which is, you know, something. Um, what do I want to do? I wouldn't mind getting calendar right now, actually, to be able to hook up the incense. Bronze working to be able to do the spearman mathematics because we want to be able to do the catapult. That is 18 turns. That's a lot of turns. Terracotta army might not even take 18 turns. I don't know if I should do calendar first. Hmm. Interesting. Let's leave it like that for now. Do it like that for now. I'm gonna want sailing as well, and obviously trapping, horseback riding, currency, philosophy. Oracle will be the next wonder. 
Well, that one we don't have to worry too much. The AI doesn't like it for some reason. But, I mean, one great scientist point is awesome. One free social policy is awesome. And plus three culture. I don't know why the AI doesn't like it. But, uh, anyways, but I think that's fine. But that's 18 turns, though. I don't know. It's turn 51. Actually, we're going to grow and pop, though, in one turn. That's going to change everything, actually. So we're fine. We should be okay. Um, right, you stay there. What's this? Oh, wait, it's your turn to, uh... Yeah, right, settle the city. You might as well start working on the salt. The faster we get it connected, the faster we can trade it for more money. Actually, we got more salt here. When are you going to plop here? You're plopping there before the salt, really? That's stupid. I mean, normally I'd probably just buy the tile, but we have to really save our money right now. Um, okay, so what are we going to do here? Right, well, comps to Bowman 25 turns is too long. Chariot Archer is the only other choice. We already have a warrior. We don't need another one. I'm going to queue up the Chariot Archer. 19 turns. You know, the city's going to grow, so this you know this will end up going down quicker than just 19 turns. Maybe 15, which is not too bad. That should be timed pretty well. So we'll have the Chariot Archer there. So we're going to be missing the Spearman, the Catapult, and the Composite Bowman. Wow, that's three units. We're, we don't have a lot of money right now either. Actually, we can purchase the Composite Bowman, though. But I'm just going to wait for now. We don't actually need it right now. Um, yeah, the, I mean, in my head it was, uh, everything was making sense. Cool, we found you. You are aggressive. You are far away from us, though, so that's good. I'm not going to tell you where we are, though. I don't want you to know. But, uh, you know what? It's time for a cut in this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.